Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. In this video, we are going to see a demonstration of the open tray impression technique in cases where we have multiple implants or in cases where we have implants that are not parallel. So in those cases, we need to make an open tray impression. And as you can see here, it is done with the use of an open tray impression coping. This open tray impression coping has a guide pin which can be unscrewed and the impression can be removed along with the coping. So we don't have to manually place the copings after removing the impression. And that is why it is very accurate. Therefore, the advantages of this technique is that it is one of the most accurate method of making an implant impression. Also, we can splint the multiple open tray impression coping using pattern resin and that will improve the accuracy. So before we begin the demonstration, obviously I'll ask you to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and also leave a like and comment below if you find this video helpful. And we will begin with the indication of the open tray impression. First indication already told, we have multiple implants, especially if they are non-parallel implants. Also, if the implant fixture is deep seated within the soft tissue, this method is indicated. Okay, so let's begin. Here we have the gingival formers that we are going to remove. As you can see, we have the gingival collar beautifully formed. And also here you can see one of the implant is deep seated. We had already made the primary impression of this patient and we have made a custom tray for this patient. This custom tray will be tried after fixing the open tray impression copings and it will be modified if needed. After this, we will splint or join the impression copings together using a dental floss. So this will help us stabilize the pattern resin that we have to use. So in the next step, we will be using the pattern resin to splint all the impression copings together. After this, we have to section the framework at multiple areas and we will reline it with fresh pattern resin. This is done because there is some amount of polymerization shrinkage of the material. So to avoid some inaccuracies, we will do this. Then we come to the impression procedure. Monophase materials are suitable for this. However, in our case, we're using light body addition silicone and putty. So first light body is injected as you can see here and then we'll be using the putty material and then making the impression. You will notice that the openings we had made in the tray has been blocked with the modeling backs. This is done to give some stability to the material inside, especially if you're using a monophase material. This is a must. Also, you can see that the guide pins are poking out. So once the material is set, we will unscrew the impression coping and we will remove the impression. So here we have our impression and the impression copings are embedded into it. Now the next step would be to connect an implant analog to the copings and we will proceed with pouring of the cast. So this was an open tray implant impression technique done in cases of multiple implants, non-parallel implants. But which are those cases in which this technique is contraindicated. Patients who have reduced mouth opening, we won't be able to place those tall open tray impression copings, right? Also in the patients who are having high gag reflex, it is contraindicated. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, please. Leave a like and comment below because it really motivates me to create more videos of this kind. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, Allah Hafiz.